guys, so today I'm going to show you how to turn your nails into a realistic looking turquoise stone. And I have the manicure on, and I think it's just super, super pretty. And I wasn't even going to upload this. I don't know why. I filmed it this morning, and I wasn't going to upload it. I kind of thought it wasn't special enough for a tutorial, but then I posted a photo on Instagram about an hour ago asking you guys if you wanted to see one, and like everyone said yes. So that's why I'm uploading. So thank you guys for letting me know that you do want to see one. So all you need for this tutorial is a plastic sandwich baggie. If you don't have a sandwich baggie, you could use saran wrap or any kind of plastic that you can just crinkle up. And then you also need just a little cup of room temperature water. So it's kind of like a do-it-yourself nail art because we're not using any kind of professional nail art tools at all. I'm just going to get right into the tutorial because I know that I talk a lot. Um, but stay tuned towards the end of the video because I do want to share a couple tips that I learned the hard way when I first tried this manicure out. So I hope that you like it. Give the video a thumbs up if you do like it and I will see you guys after. So you want to start this manicure by using two coats of a nice turquoise nail polish. I use China Glaze in the shade Aquadelic. Then you just want to place some tape on each side of your nail and covering your cuticle area just so you protect it from getting nail polish on it. You're going to take your plastic sandwich bag and just crinkle it up, paint on to the little creases. You're just going to stamp it onto your nail. So then you just end up with like a random gold pattern like that. To create the black veining in the turquoise stone nail design, you're going to take a cup of room temperature water. Just going to drop two dots of black nail polish onto the surface of the water. Then taking a perfume bottle to spray it, we're just going to spritz the surface and break up the nail polish until we get the perfect veining that we want to dip our nail into. When you pull it out of the water, you just have some random veining, just like a natural turquoise stone would look like. So I'm going to take the tape off, put on a top coat, and I'll show you the finished manicure. Here is the finished turquoise stone nail art. I think it's so cool looking with the little pops of the gold and the black veining. It really does look like a real turquoise stone. Okay, so I just turned off one of the lights that I had on, so you can kind of see it in a different lighting. But yeah, it's just beautiful. I love it so much. And I hope that you guys want to try this manicure out and send me your photos on Facebook and Twitter. Okay, so if you guys try this out, definitely send me your photos on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. They're all at Miss Jen Fabulous, and I will have a link down below. But I just wanted to share with you one quick tip. When I was first doing this, I was using a um, body splash to spray on the nail polish to spread it out, but the spray wasn't like strong enough, so it didn't work really well. Then I went to using an aerosol hairspray, but that was way too strong. And it kind of like blew the nail polish into the corner of like my little cup that I was using. So it was way too strong. But then I went to using a perfume and that was like the perfect amount of pressure, if that makes sense, um, to use. So you might have to do a little bit of trial and error with the spray part, but I think that a perfume bottle will work the best. I hope that you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up to let me know that you did if you do like it. And I will see you guys very soon. I already know what my next nail tutorial is going to be and I'm really excited about it. So... Yeah, thank you for watching and subscribing, and I will see you guys very, very soon.